Hello everyone, my name is Matt Gilbert and I will be talking about the ground penetrating radar device that I have created for a Europa mission. Figure 3 represents the GPR block diagram that I followed for my project. We have the signal generator generating a signal that goes to the voltage controlled oscillator, to the attenuator, amplifier, and into the splitter. From the splitter it goes to the transmitting antenna and to the mixer. The receiving antenna receives the signal, passes it through a low noise amplifier into the mixer, which then goes through the intermediate frequency amplifier into the low pass filter and then into the STR for processing. Here's a schematic of the GPR block diagram with the real components that I've used. It looks very much similar to the on paper block diagram, however this one has the Arduino and the breadboard with the connecting cables. Here we have the main path of the system. The Arduino with the 3.3 volt and 5 volt pins are connected to the breadboard to provide power to the components. A 9 volt battery is used to power the VCO. The signal generator is also connected to the VCO to provide the sawtooth weight. The mixer is also powered via a 9 volt battery. And finally, the IF amplifier is powered by the 3.3 power rail on the breadboard. The VCO is connected to the attenuator, which connects to the splitter. From the splitter, the signal enters the mixer through the IF amplifier and low pass filter and into the SDR. As you can see here, a signal is being passed through the system and in the SDR. The target frequency was 180 megahertz, which can be seen as the large spike in the middle. It should be noted that the first amplifier is not used in this system as it was damaged. This system is the transmitting and receiving portion of the GPR. We've got the signal going through the VCO attenuator splitter and into the transmitting antenna, which is shown on that box. The receiving antenna was placed 15 feet away and connected to the LNA mixer and SDR. And as you can see here, the signal that was shown in the first video clip has been transmitted and received at 181 megahertz, shown as that large spike in the middle. Here's a full run of the entire system. We have the main path connected to the transmitting antenna and the receiving path connected to the monopole antenna that is on the floor. However, this is not an accurate run of the full system as the VCO is not functioning properly, and that's why the spike in the middle there looks a little bit off compared to the two separate runs. There are four main issues with my system. First of all, and probably the most crucial, is that the VCO was received not functioning in the way it should. I'm not sure if it was damaged from the factory or if it was damaged during my testing. Next, the first amplifier was damaged while I was soldering the power cables to it, and this resulted in a short upon powering it up with the Arduino. As well, monopole antennas are definitely not the most suitable for GPR, however, due to cost and complexity of antennas, this was my only option. Finally, the transmitting power of the system is in the range of 1.5 to 3.2 milliwatts, which is far too low, resulting in a small transmission range. However, that being said, I could not transmit on a higher power level as it could interfere with frequencies that are used for air traffic control, satellite communications, and other things. This system is about 90% complete. A signal can be transmitted and received. So given a working VCO, a full accurate run could be made and the data could be extracted. The data would be filtered through a code which would compare the transmitting spike signal with the received spike. The distance between the two spikes would essentially represent the distance a detected object is away. So here's a short video showing that the VCO, when given a certain voltage, does not output the correct frequency. As you can see, the frequency is very sporadic and in multiple places. And here are the references I used for this project. 